Miller from the blog foodfaithfitness.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my most popular recipes on the blog. We're making a paleo and vegan friendly sweet potato noodle coconut curry. That's right, no rice here guys. We are breaking out our spiralizers to make some sweet potato noodles and then we're going to mix it all up with a creamy spicy coconut curry and some yummy mango chutney. It is a good one. It only takes 30 minutes and I know you are going to love it. So if you are ready, let's dive right in and make this yummy recipe. To begin, you'll need one large carrot, make sure it's peeled, one small red bell pepper, and about one cup of broccoli. Slice your carrot into thin slices, and then slice your red bell pepper into thin slices as well. Finally, slice your broccoli into bite-sized florets. Then you want to take half a tablespoon of coconut oil and put it on medium-high heat in a large saucepan until it melts. Once the oil has melted, add in your carrot and cook them for about three minutes, stirring often just until they soften. Once your carrots are softened, turn your heat down to medium, add in your sliced pepper and your chopped broccoli, as well as some ginger, and then cook until it all begins to soften and lightly brown, which is about five minutes. Once your veggies are nice and soft, add in a half a tablespoon of yellow curry powder and cook it until it's just fragrant. You'll know when it's done. It takes about one minute. Finally, you want to add in one whole can of coconut milk. Full fat here. Don't skimp and use the light version. It's not as good. Add it in and stir it around, adding a pinch of salt. Once the coconut milk is well incorporated with the veggies, raise the heat to medium high and bring your mixture to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn the heat down to medium low and just let it simmer for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally, and then it will thicken. Next, you want to use one large sweet potato. Make sure you peel it and then put it onto your spiralizer and spiralize it using the three millimeter blade. Use the whole potato here. Once you've made your noodles, Heat another half a tablespoon of coconut oil in a very large pan over medium heat. Once the oil is melted, add your spiralized potato noodles into the pan and cook the noodles, stir them quite often so they don't burn on the bottom, until they begin to wilt, which will take around 10 minutes. Make sure you season them with a little pinch of salt. So next you want to make your mango salsa. You need one large mango here. The best way to cut it is to find the eye, which I'm pointing to, of the mango. It's a little indent on the front of the mango. Then put the mango down on your cutting board with the eye facing you and slice about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch to the side of the eye of the mango on each side. This will give you two nice fleshy parts of the mango and you won't slice the seed. So the best way to dice a mango is once you have the two what are called cheeks which we just cut is to take each cheek in your hand and to slice it three quarters of the way through the fruit. You don't want to cut all the way through because then you'll cut your hand. Once you've done that, flip it and do the same thing on the other side so that you end up with little squares, like little dice. Once this is done, take a large spoon and use it almost like a knife to go around the edge of the mango half scraping out all the little dice into a bowl. Perfect, there you go, you have a diced mango. Now into the bowl with your diced mango, you wanna add in diced red onion, cilantro, about half a teaspoon of raw apple cider vinegar, and a pinch of sriracha. Sometimes I use a red Thai chili. If you can't find one, sriracha works totally well in a pinch. And then simply just stir the salsa all together until it's well mixed. By the time your salsa is all finished and you've made all your noodles, your curry should be nice and thick. Just look at it. You can see it's reduced, it's super thick, luscious and creamy, and it's ready to go. You can also see here that the sweet potato noodles have wilted a lot. They are fork tender and they are also ready to mix up with our coconut curry deliciousness. To plate your dish, I simply divide the sweet potato noodles between two bowls. This recipe makes two servings. And then divide our creamy, delicious coconut curry on top of the noodles. And finally, garnish with that spicy, sweet, delicious mango chutney that we just made. And there you have it. 30 minutes is all it takes, and you have one super delicious, super healthy dinner for your next Meatless Monday, or really any day of the week. It even makes great leftovers in your lunch kit. If you tried the recipe, I would absolutely love for you to leave a comment below and letting me know your thoughts on it. 
And then make sure you give the video a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I am sharing a ton more easy, healthy recipes with you. If you wanna grab the full recipe for this coconut curry, just head to my blog, www.foodfaithfitness.com. There's a link below and you can snag it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now go enjoy your curry and I'll see you later. Bye for now.